Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. Long time no see. This is actually the first video I have made in about eight months. Um, I was enjoying making them at the time and I hope everybody was enjoying watching them. They were all different kind of topics and personal interests, hobbies, movies, video games, music, sports, all kinds of stuff. Uh, but just some stuff kind of happened in my life and I really didn't have that uh, time or effort or desire to keep making them. Uh, I mean, eventually I'm going to get back into them just at the moment. There's still so many things that have to get settled first before I can donate some free time to it. Uh, but the reason I'm doing this video tonight is something happened recently and I'm just going to go over that. Uh, if you guys have enjoyed my videos in the past, I would encourage you to like and subscribe. Uh, you know, I don't want to tell you that I'm going to be posting new content regularly like I used to do because at the moment I'm not. Uh, but just kind of wanted to give everybody an update as to what's going on. So what happened was uh, a couple of months ago, my wife had to return something to Amazon. And here in Houston, you can just take it to Kohl's and they will, you know, box it up, send it back for you, you know, nice and easy. Anyway, <clears throat> we were in line waiting to return it to the Amazon uh, desk there and just struck up a conversation with the lady at the desk. And it turns out that She's actually in the publishing industry, and for those of you who don't know, because I don't really post on social media anymore either like I used to, uh, I'm an aspiring author. I've really been writing kind of since I was a teenager, more or less. Um, I never really took it very seriously until I got a lot older. Uh, I think I kind of refined my craft, so to speak. I would never say I was a good writer back in the day, but I did write a lot. Uh, it really wasn't until about 2017 ish that I, you know, started working on uh, and subsequently kind of finished not not that long ago my story, the main story that, that I am writing, or I should say I wrote, but still haven't been able to do anything with. Um, I've got a little selection of small stories and horror, thriller-esque kind of things that I'm, I'm going to eventually try to group together, uh, kind of think of them like Twilight Zone episodes. But anyway, long story short, um, this lady that we ran into at the Amazon kiosk in Kohl's is in the publishing industry. We struck up a conversation with her. I had been having kind of a, a piss poor day at that time, and it really kind of, you know, lifted my spirits. Well, they had an event this weekend, which was an online panel, uh, discussed several different aspects of the publishing industry. So I participated in that. I finished that up today. Uh, there was one session last night and three sessions today. And that's kind of what got me motivated to, to get in here and do a video. Uh, I thought about, you know, doing another post on Facebook, which I really haven't done. I mean, I used to constantly be on there from like, you know, 2012-ish, whenever, whatever time I got onto Facebook, uh, I kind of blew up and it became like my online journal, uh, you know, just basically telling the world everything that was going on with me. And then... Uh, you know, about eight months ago, same time with the videos, it just kind of stopped. Uh, you know, and a lot of you might wonder why, and I don't really want to get into that tonight. But, uh, you know, just suffice to say, the desire wasn't there. Some things happened. Um, the, I don't want to say the effort wasn't there to be creative, but just a lot of things in a blender, which we'll talk about another time. I really wanted to do this video just to kind of catch everybody up with, you know, the thoughts on this panel discussion thing that I went through this weekend, which was really helpful to me. Uh, a lot of stuff I didn't know. They had a lot of industry insiders, which was really helpful. Uh, you know, gave me some guidance on some avenues of approach. They had some uh, published authors kind of telling their story about, uh, you know, how you break in the industry and what to expect and realistic expectations and things that can go right, things that can go wrong. Uh, for those of you who don't know, which is a lot of us because I never knew about this stuff until a couple of months ago when I started doing some research on it. Uh, if you decide to write a story or a play or whatever it is, generally what you do is you seek out an agent in the, uh, in the industry. And what you have to do is send what's called a query letter to these agents. And it, it's generally speaking it's standard, but you have to, you know, include like your bio a little bit. Uh, you have to include like the hook of the story, like what's going to make people read, um, you know, give a little synopsis without giving away too much, you know, uh, basically you're, it's trying to entice the agent to 
say, hey, I want more than a little short sample of your story. I want to see the whole thing. And then the agent, you know, could possibly take a look at it. And then if the agent likes it or the agent thinks that it's going to be something that's marketable or that somebody would enjoy, you know, they might sign you to a contract or, uh, well, maybe not exactly sign you to a contract, but, you know, they'll, they'll get the process rolling where they could send it to an editor and then an editor could send it to a publisher and then you got to go from there. Um, so... I was lucky enough to have my query letter critique. Now, I had already sent out about 20 or 30 of these. I never wanted to copy somebody. I kind of had to wing it on my own. Um, so I looked at samples a couple months ago and tried to craft my own. And I did get some really nice responses. I mean, I've never, I've had nothing but declines so far. But, uh, you know, there, some people said, hey, this is, this is very interesting. I think you have a good project here. You have a, an interesting idea but I'm not the right agent for it, you know? And, and the thing is, it, it's kind of hard to narrow down a genre. That's one of the big things you have to figure out in, in, in trying to market this to an agent is what genre is it? So, you know, I've really been kind of racking my brains about this the last few days. Um, and this was one of the things I kind of in, engaged in during this conference uh, a panel, however you want to describe it, was trying to narrow down a genre for this. So what exactly is this main story? Because like I said, I have a couple that I would, uh, you know, I have a, a short story and then I have these other little horror slash hard to classify ones. I call them my little, my own little personal Twilight Zone, Outer Limits, uh, you know, compilation there. Uh, but anyway, um, the, the main story, how would I describe my main story? It's kind of like a midlife crisis autobiography, but not told in the way of a traditional autobiography. It's told through the prism of a conversation between a middle-aged man and an old man. So it's not your typical run-of-the-mill uh, you know, autobiography because it's not really meant to be that. It's, it's meant to be uh, you know, a story. And, and just that's the framing plot, the, how, I don't, whatever the technical terminology is. So anyway, um, you know, I have to work again on my query letter now that I got that critiqued. And like I said, I had, it, she was an industry professional. She was, she was really sweet about it. Um, and she kind of tore it to shreds, but not in a bad way. I mean, I did not get upset or offended. I, I took it as positive criticism. Um, you know, again, I'd never done this before. I'm, I'm going to be 46 years old in January. This is the first story I've ever really finished. <laughs> I mean, it, it took me a long time. It was a very, uh, personal story to me. Uh, it was a very difficult story to write, went over a lot of difficult topics in my life and whatnot, but uh, it's, I'm a rookie. I've never done any of this before. So again, you know, all I had was some online research. I don't know anybody in the publishing industry. Um, you know, I'm kind of introverted, so I don't really talk to a lot of people. Um, you know, and then with this COVID lockdown crap, it's not like you can kind of, you know, socialize. So I was really excited and ha happy I could participate in this online forum and the panel because, like I said, uh, through this lady we met returning that uh, item to Coles that day, you know, uh, I, I interacted with some published authors. I interacted with uh, an agent, you know, uh, just learned a lot of interesting things, a lot of good constructive criticism. So, you know, I have a, a, a foundation and a place to go with it. So now I just have to try. I have to go and refine it. Um, I just reread my whole story and made a couple more adjustments and refinements last week in anticipation of this uh, this you know panel discussion that I did uh, yesterday and today. And I, I know after having sat through this and you know participated in the online thing that it's kind of bulky my story. Like it it starts off good. It gets a little slow, trugging through the mud in the middle, and then it ends on an interesting note, and then there's these little two epilogues that kind of take it in a completely different direction. Um, I think it's a good story. I mean, you know, again, I'm not an industry professional. I'm not a professional writer. I'm a complete amateur. I've never, you know, had anything published. I've never even come close, but uh, it's a passion project, and it's one of those things that, you know, I have to figure out. Uh, which is one of the main uh, points of the first session, you know, what do you want for the story? What are your goals? Uh, what do you want to do with it? I, I hadn't really thought about that. It was just kind of like, I, I kind of wrote the story uh, for my own sanity to help me reason the things I was going through, make sense of it all, kind of bounce ideas around. 
uh, that was really the main reason I wrote the story. You know, uh, I, at that time, you know, I was going through some difficult things. Uh, I still am. I mean, I'm not living the high life here, you know. Um, and th there weren't a lot of people I could talk to. There, there are wonderful people in my life, but, you know, sometimes they're busy or they don't want to hear it or they don't have a frame of reference to where they can understand it because they haven't been through something similar to that. And, and again, the older I've gotten, the more life has thrown at me, the more introverted I've gotten and the more I keep things inside. So it's, it's difficult. So the story for me wasn't so much like, oh, I wrote this because I want to be a millionaire because I mean, the chances are, are very slim. Um, but it was more just for my, myself in, in, in that regard. Now, what is my ultimate goal with it? I mean, yeah, I'd love to have it published. I'd love to, to, to have that story out there. Um, but again, I didn't write it in an autobiography form because it's like, who the hell am I who's going to want to hear my story? So I tried to make it entertaining. Um, but again, nailing the genre is, is, is kind of tough for me. I mean, in researching you know, different genres of novels. I mean, it, it could be what's called commercial fiction. It could be literary fiction. There's some drama. There's some humor. It's a little bit of everything. So I, I have to get that narrowed down. Uh, I have to get my query letter, you know, uh, fixed up now that I've had that critique, which, which was really, really helpful. And I have to kind of go over the notes that I made during this panel and kind of reflect on it, and uh, I, I don't have to revisit my story again at this moment. I think I've done the best I can at this point. I just have to get some, uh, you know, an agent interested in the story to take a look at it, and then to say, you know, as they are a professional, this is something you have to do, this is something you have to change, this is something I would suggest. Now, I don't have to do those things, but I need outside eyes. I mean, I've had some family and friends have read it, but again, realistically, as I said in this panel, you're biased. I, I mean, you know me, so it's like, of course, you're not necessarily going to look at this as a stranger, as an outsider, you know. Um, and one of the things they talked about in an author's journey is, uh, you know, having a critique partner, which for me is kind of tough because it's hard for me to share those, those personal things like that. Uh, you know, finding a group of I don't want to say like-minded authors, but authors in that same genre, which, again, it's hard for me to share that, you know. Uh, I mean, again, this is a very deeply personal story. I want to get it out there, but it has to be the right way. Anyway, so those are some of the things that, that uh, you know, of course, there's much more detail to it than that, but I just kind of wanted to to give everybody an update. I wanted to, to talk about it. I wanted to get it off my chest, and I really, I, I've been doing it all day today, and and uh, yesterday afternoon after work, so I am a little on the tired side. I didn't quite have the oomph for the energy to to write something on Facebook about it. Um, again, you know, I, I appreciate you guys for listening. Um, I hope you enjoy this little update as far as what's going on. I hope it's not eight more months before I start making videos again, because honestly, look, I enjoyed doing them. I, I hope you guys enjoyed watching them. I wasn't doing it because I was trying to get 10 million hits on YouTube or be Mr. Famous or something. It's just something I enjoyed doing. I mean, my strengths are always expression and, you know, conversation and relating to people. Uh, you know, I, I'm not a carpenter. I'm not a mechanic. Uh, you know, I'm not a computer technician. I, I got to play to my strengths. And that's that's my strength, communication, expression, that's, that's who I am. You know, it is what it is. Take it or leave it. So uh, I hope everybody's doing well in the time that I've been kind of MIA off the reservation, so to speak. Um, I, I just kind of been out of touch with, with all these things going on. Someday, you know, maybe I'll be able to catch everybody up on that, but now's really not the time. Uh, but I, I hope this is not the last time I make a video and the last time I see you guys. So Anyway, I just wanted to say thank you for tuning in. It's a little bit longer than, than I've been making videos lately. I try to keep them short, but I just want to, you know, get everything out there. So I hope everybody's doing well. I wish you guys all the best always. Uh, if you enjoy my channel, please, you know, like this video, subscribe to my channel. Go back and watch my old videos from, from eight months ago back. Uh, you know, I think I made about 50-something before I... I kind of put it on hold. Eventually, I'm going to get back to it. Eventually, I might start a blog. 
I, I don't know if I'll ever kind of get active on Facebook the way I used to. Uh, you know, I'd rather kind of do my own thing with, with the way the world is nowadays. But anyway, I hope everybody's doing great. Best wishes, and we'll talk to you soon.